These boots were made for racing, and that's just what they'll do. But one of these days, these boots will be responsible for punting you. Hey guys, Jimmy here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about racing boots. As a lot of you know, I recently received a pair of OMP boots from my friends over at Frammy Autosport. Now, I've been using them for just over a month or so now, so I feel that the time is right for me to talk about my experience with them, the pros and cons, etc, etc. First of all, a very important piece of information. The pedals I'm using are the set that come with the T500 RS wheel. I have the brake basher mod, which is a skateboard pushing jam behind the brake to increase the amount of pressure needed to fully depress the brake, alongside my trusty other stress ball behind the throttle for a similar effect. Previous to owning these boots, I had driven barefooted or in socks for about three years, which hopefully means I can give you a good discussion from both sides. The first thing we should talk about is the point that probably dissuades most people from getting real racing boots. Uh, that's the price. Now, as I mentioned before, I was fortunate enough not to have to pay for my pair of boots, but I'm told this particular pair go for around £50 or so. For those of you on a budget, that's nearly halfway to a set of T3PA pedals. However, I can see where that money goes. The boots are made out of suede leather and have a very tough moulded sole made specifically with pedals in mind. If you look closely you can actually see the boots are asymmetrical with the right boot having rubber on the side meaning heel and toe doesn't dig into the material. Now one of my biggest concerns when driving is comfort. I often take part in races where I'm in the car for two or three hours at a time. The ultimate test for these boots came at Sebring where I drove an LMP1 GTR LM for nearly five hours in a row. Now despite the rest of my body feeling quite second hand after I'd finished the race, the boots were never anything but comfy. If I had to compare them to anything, I'd say they were almost like wearing slippers. Now on the other side of the argument, I've also completed endurance races where I've been wearing only socks or racing barefooted. And whilst barefooted, I'd find that my feet would end up cramping after a couple of hours, especially if the positioning of the brake or throttle was in an unfamiliar position. I also had the bad habit of curling my feet around the pedals, which is a bit weird, I know. With that and that also added to the issues of course with boots on i can't do that physically they have to stay straight which i think adds to the comfort of the boot racing barefooted can actually often be quite painful especially if you make a mistake with your footwork where if you're like me a bit of an amateur that does happen quite often there were numerous times in the past uh, where my foot would slip off the brake and i'd end up marking the inside of my foot or bending my toe back this extends to using heel and toe as well, as I often used to find the, the throttle would dig into the side of my foot, especially in the longer races. This isn't the case with the boots, as the sole grips the pedals well and is tough, meaning the bending back of toes is no longer an issue. Feel is also very important to me when I'm driving. Now, we spend a lot of time as sim racers talking about feel and what it is, and something I always enjoyed about racing barefooted was the feel and control I had over the pedals. Back in the old days, when I used to use a G27, I could use my big toe to brake whilst heel and towing the brake was that light. Trying to change that style of footwork was difficult after so many years of racing barefooted, but uh, I found the transition to be easier than I imagined. Once I got used to the additional weight on my feet, it felt like nothing had changed to be honest. Now I realise the idea of feel is just a subjective opinion at the end of the day, uh, but hopefully you sort of get the idea of what I'm trying to say here. Before I end off this video, I want to make one thing very clear. I've always been the kind of person that believes you can get involved in sim racing at any level with a cheap wheel and pedal set and still be as fast as a person at the top end of the field. Stuff like boots and gloves, um, they have their place. You know, a lot of people wear gloves when racing in the interest of trying to keep their wheel nice and people with um, fabric wheels, I can understand wearing gloves there. And boots in this example I think are worn because of comfort reasons and especially when using a heavy duty set of pedals such as uh, one of the Husqvarna set of pedals where you have brake presses of you know 60 kilograms plus, I can see there boots coming into their own. But I don't think that boots are 100% necessary. Um, I, I enjoy having them, I enjoy wearing them and I enjoy the act of putting them on before a race or stream. I, I enjoy that sort of preparing for a race mindset that I get into. But I could go back to racing barefoot and still be just as fast or just as slow, whichever way you look at it, than I am now with the with the uh, with the boots. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little insight and in what it's like to drive with racing boots, and maybe it will hopefully influence you in the future. If you found this video useful or informative at all, then make sure to hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe to be notified of future videos. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you all next time.